Welcome sa course natin. Solve po ulit tayo. So para dito, mixture problems naman. So 50ml 40% acid solution is added to a 150ml 30% acid solution. What will be the concentration of the resulting mixture? So let x, yung hinahanap natin na concentration ng resulting mixture. So dito pag kinocompute natin, multiply natin yung volume dun sa percentage kung ano man yung nasa mixture. Depende kung ang concern nyo is yung acid, yung solute, or yung solvent. No, so basta mixture no, kung ano yung concern natin. So 150 times 0.3 plus uh, 50 ml times 0.4. Dahil nga dinagdagan daw ng 50 ml yung 150 ml na 30%. So, 0.3 tas 50 ml is 40%. Kaya, 50 ml times uh, 0.4. So, equal dun sa resulting solution natin. Dahil nagdagdag ka ng 50 dun sa 150. So, 150 plus 50. Multiply dun sa concentration ng resulting mixture. Na may volume na 150 plus 50. So, solve natin. So, 150 times 0.3 plus uh, 50 times 0.4. Over 150 plus 50. So therefore, uh, concentration ng resulting mixture is 0.325 or 32.5%. Next problem. So simple lang. No? So how much water must be added to 1.45 liters 80 proof liquor to make it 65 proof? So, dadagdagan mo daw ng tubig yung liquor na merong 80% ay, or 80 proof. Tapos, volume niya originally is 1.45 liters para maging 65 proof. So, ano nga ba yung proof? So, sabi dito, what is alcohol proof? Alcohol proof is a unit of measurement used to determine the amount of ethanol or ethyl alcohol in alcoholic beverages. The higher the alcohol proof, the stronger the drink. So, kaya mo nga lalagyan ng tubig, no? So, para maging 60 per proof. So, lower the proof, uh, the weaker the drink. So, higher the proof, the stronger the drink. So, this system of measuring alcohol content is primarily used in the United States where alcohol proof is defined as being double the amount of alcohol by volume. Uh, for example, if a, if, if, a, if a whiskey is 50% alcohol by volume, it is a 100 proof whiskey. Kumbaga para makuha natin kung ano yung dahil dito given sa atin ay proof, kukunin natin yung percent kagaya kanina. So, di-divide natin sa 2 yung proof para makuha natin kung ano yung percent ng alcohol by volume. Kaya nga dito, kung 100 proof ka, so yung percent alcohol by volume is 50%. So, yun yung nakalagay dun sa mga alak na uh, proof or percent volume para malaman natin no, kung For example, yung nakalagay doon sa isa, proof. Tapos yung nakalagay sa isa is percent volume. So ngayon, alam nyo na kung ano yung mas uh, stronger drink. Doon sa concept natin na yung proof, pag tinivide mo sa 2, yun yung percent, percent alcohol by volume. O kaya naman yung percent alcohol by volume, multiply mo sa 2, yun naman yung proof. So solve na natin. So, hinahanap natin yan, uh, dito yung amount of water added or must be added. So, denote na lang natin as x. So, equation natin. So, 1.45 uh, liters. Multiply dun sa original. Ito yung original volume. So, 1.45 liters times uh, 0.8. So, 0.8 over 2. Para makuha natin yung sa percent na. No? So, uh, so, 40% uh, alcohol by volume dun sa 80 proof. Plus, dahil nga water, wala tayong approve dun. So, x yung volume added. Tapos, times zero dahil hindi siya, so wala siyang uh, proof na tinatawag. This equal to, yung magiging a total volume natin na 1.45 plus x. So, yun yung volume. Multiply dun sa concentration na, or yung proof dito na, na 0.65 over 2. So, 0.65, yun yung proof divided by 2, yun yung percent alcohol by volume. So, simplify natin sa so 1.45 times 0.4 is equal to 1.45 uh, times 0.325. Yun yung 0.65 over 2 plus 0.325 times x. So, therefore, so pwede na natin tong isolve. So, 1.45 times 0.4 minus 
1.45 times 0.325. So over yung coefficient ng 0.325, so therefore volume of water that must be added to the 1.45 liters, 80 proof liquor to make it 65 proof is point or 0.3346 liters. Next problem, a vat contains a mixture of acid and water. If 25 gallons of acid are added, the mixture will be 80% acid. If 25 gallons of water are added, the mixture will be 60% acid. Find the percentage of acid in the mixture. So let x is equal to the amount of acid in the mixture. Yung hinahanap natin. Why yung amount of water in the mixture? So hindi natin alam kasi nga uh, nakalagay dun sa problem na just a vat contains a mixture of acid and water. And then yung C sub O, yun yung concentration ng original mixture. In which yung formula natin para dun sa concentration equal dun sa amount of acid over dun sa total volume. So, if 25 gallons of acid are added, the mixture will be 80% acid. So therefore, concentration niya kapag pinagdagan ng 25 gallons of acid, so magiging 80%. So 0.8 is equal to x plus 25 dahil nga dinagdagan mo ng 25 gallons of acid. So x plus 25 over in total volume, x plus 25, yun na yung acid, plus yung amount ng water. Kapag naman dinagdagan mo siya ng uh, 0.6 or 60% ng acid, dun sa pangatlong statement, so magiging uh, kaya lang water yon no 25 gallons of water 60% and the mixture will be 60% acid kaya nga concentration is 0.6 equal sa x pa rin dahil hindi ka naman nagdagdag ng acid water yung dinagdag mo kaya x lang yung nasa numerator over yung denominator natin na total volume x plus or yung acid volume ng acid plus yung volume ng water which is y plus 25 so, meron tayong dalawang equation, dalawang unknown. So, kunin natin yung relationship nila. So, ang ginawa ko naman dito, multiply both sides sa uh, x plus 25 plus y and then divide both sides sa uh, 0.8. Kaya x plus 25 plus y is equal to x over 0.8 plus 25 over 0.8. So, sinimplify ko lang yung 0.8. Ayoko ng decimal. So, ginawa kong 4 over 5. Kaya, dahil nga 0.8 nasa denominator. So, denominator natin yung 4. Tapos, over 5, which is nasa numerator na. Tapos, simplify pa natin. Uh, kinuha ko na lang na ang gagawin ko dito, equate ko na lang sila dahil uh, in terms of y na lang. No? So, y is equal to para dun sa ay may 80% na acid. And then y is equal to kung ano man dun sa 60% na acid. So sa una, y is equal to x over 4. Dahil dun sa 5, x over 4 minus x dun sa left side. Kaya x over 4 na lang. So 5 fourths over 4 fourths. So 1 fourth na lang. Plus yung 5 times 25 over 4 minus yung 25. Uh, minus 25. So, yun ginawa kong isang equation. Hindi ka pa sinimplify. Tapos yung sa isa naman, ganun din. No? Multiply both sides sa uh, x plus y plus 25. Then divide by 0. 0.6. Yung 0. 0.6, ginawa kong 3 over 5. Para mas malinis. So, 5, uh, 5x over 3 minus yung x. Pwedeng sabihin natin na 5, uh, 5 thirds minus three thirds so five minus three so two thirds na lang ng x minus both sides ng 25 so minus 25. So ito na yung dalawang natin equation. Equate lang natin. And then simplify natin. No? So two thirds ng x minus x over four so napagpalit natin sila is equal to uh, dahil meron ka negative 25 both sides, so cancel out. So 5 times 25 over 4. So sa 2 thirds, saka yung sa 1 fourth. So 8 twelves, saka 3 twelves. So 5 twelves. And then 5 times 25 over 4. So cancel out yung 5. And then yung 12, 4 times 3. So cancel out din yung uh, 4. Pwede multiply both sides by 4. So makaka-cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to uh, 75.